Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back to this paper number 10, Corporate Accounting and Auditing ABC Analysis. Previously, we have done for all the five papers, which is in group one and group two, that is OM and SM. We have given a huge response towards that part. So I have made a complete in-depth analysis about the corporate accounting and auditing, which saves your time. Just watch 10 minutes of this video. If you want to speed up the video, that is also completely fine. That 5 to 10 minutes, that's completely going to give you an in-depth analysis, what they are trying to figure in, what they are asking you, what they are expecting from you, everything I have already covered. Once you've seen this video, immediately go to the playlist. In that, I have uploaded the paper presentation of that certified copy, Corporate Accounting and Auditing. Go through this and how you need to present the paper, what they are expecting, how you need to present the auditing paper, what are the key points which you need to write down. Everything will be discussed there. You can easily check it out. Okay. Now, we will getting into the analysis part. I hope the screen is visible to you right now. Yes. Yes. That will be, this is for June 2024. Then is paper number 10 is divided into two parts, 10A, 10B. Okay, 10A and 10B. Each is divided into 50-50 percentage. If it is 50-50 percentage, it should be, first we will see the paper pattern. You will keep this 50 percentage, 50 percentage. Your MCQ will be 15 MCQs of 2 marks, so total 30 marks. 14 of 7 questions, total 98 marks. 7 out of which 128 marks. You need to write it for 100 marks. Okay. So, this 50 percentage means 128 is divided by 2. So, 64, 64. There will be 5 modules. That 5 modules... Each module will have in 10 percentage weightage. Each module will have in an equal weightage of 10 percentage. Then 10B is your auditing part. That auditing is having only three modules, having a weightage of 10, 3, 10. That is 1 is to 3 is to 1 ratio. Okay. What is the process which we are going to follow in this analysis? What are the resources we need? ABC analysis and paper analysis we will do. Quickly we will do it. In paper number 10A, what are the resources we are going to utilize? First, ICA study mat, ICMI study mat, your institute study material. Second will be CA study material for cash flow statement, schedule 3 AS. This three parts, if you require, you can see and verify cash flow statement, schedule 3, that is companies are companies accounts and accounting standards. You can verify the CA study material. And model question papers of June 24, this attempt, previous attempt, December 23, June 23, of syllabus 2022. And past exam questions of syllabus 2016, syllabus 2022. This two alone. Okay. Then, ABC analysis we will do for paper 10A. This paper 10A, which we are having, is first preferences will be given to accounting standard. Okay. On that, first you will study India S1. Then you will go to India S2. Then you will complete India S10. Then you will come for India S19. Then you will complete India S33 and then 37. In this order, you will complete it. Okay. And you will study a theory question can be expected. A major difference between India S and AS. This questions you may expect. Okay. Then after completing in the TA category, after completing module 5, because why I am saying AS, you are CMA final. Immediately if you qualify, you are come to a CMA final. In paper CFR, you need to study index for 25 percentage of the weightage is there. So you need to study that accounting standards as a first preference and complete that. Because if you scoring an exemption of 70 plus or 60 plus, 
whatever can be depend on this AS part. Okay, so give a focus. Then module three, cash flow statement. On that cash flow statement, you can do with CMA material. And after that, you will go with ICA study material. You can find a good number of questions. Then B category. B category will be your module two and module one. That is preparations of schedule three and accounting for shares and debentures. And module four, that will be your banking, electricity company. Insurance will be your last preferences, which you will give. That is a C category for paper 10 A. Then paper 10 B, come to this auditing part. Auditing part, as we see, what is the flow we will go. First, we will go with resources. CMA, CMA study material you will use. And you will prepare your own short notes, if any, if you are already prepared. You will use that. Then past exam questions of syllabus 2016, syllabus 2022, you will give it as a third preference. Okay. Then... In this A, I have put module 7 alone. That is nearly how many percentage? 30 percentage. Okay. In that, I have given a reference. 7.1, 7.4, 7.5 and 7.6. This can be a probability that they can ask individual questions also. They may test you the MCQs also. In that A category itself, you are focusing this parts. Okay. Then come to this B category. In that B category, okay, whatever the order I say in module 7, follow that. 7.1 you will revise first, 7.4 you will revise, then 7.5, then 7.6, then module number 8. Audit of different types of undertakings, easier one, you can expect a 7 mark question. You may expect a, a, a 10, totally 7 marks plus 2 marks of the MCQ will be there. Then in that you will give a preference, 8.1, 8.4, 8.6 you will study. 8.2, 8.3, 8.5 you will study. That is your B category, 8.4, 8.2, 8.5. You will give a good amount of time to prepare. Then module, uh, that is C, that is module 6. That is basic concepts of auditing. Basic concepts of auditing you will revise. In the same way, 6.1, 6.3, 6.4, 6.2, 6.5 and 6.6. Okay, this is what you need to go through. Then, if you see paper analysis, if I do a good paper analysis of December 23, they have asked, actually, it is 50-50 percentage. It should be in the form of 64 marks, 64 marks. That is corporate accounting, 64 marks, auditing, 64 marks. But corporate opening, what they do, seven MCQs they are asking for 14 marks and they are asking two, three, four, five. Four questions they are asking. If it is in case of auditing, eight MCQs they are asking, they are asking only three descriptive questions. Actually, it should be four if they ask. Actually, it should be two and a half here, another two and a half over here. Or this is 3.5. 3.5 like that, it means 14 mark, 14 mark, 14 mark and 7 mark, 14 mark, 14 mark, 14 mark and 7 mark. This is what they need to do. But they are actually asking 14, 14, 14, 14, 14 marks. They are asking from this four questions. So, so if I calculate in December 23, 70 mark of corporate accounting is tested. Only 58 mark of auditing is tested. Okay, 58 mark of auditing only tested. They have that 6 mark of extra auditing that I have given to corporate accounting. Suppose if I analyze the June 24 model question paper, 5 MCQs only they have tested in corporate accounting. In auditing, they have tested 10 MCQs. In the same way, they tested corporate accounting 66 mark, auditing 62 mark. In any ways, minimum 60 marks in corporate accounting is sure. Okay. 60 to 70 marks, you can say. This is for corporate accounting. Then auditing, if I say, it will be somewhere around 56 to 64 mark. So, if you have a good focus on how you need to prepare, what areas need to be prepared, how MCQ should be tackled, 
it can be easier for you uh, to get a good marks. And one more thing, here there are some commonly committed mistakes you will do. For corporate accounting, what you need to do, you need to write a proper schedule. And then you need to give a sufficient working notes. Wherever working notes is there, you should provide. You, for journal entries, you should write narration unless and until they didn't mention that they are saying that without a narration, pass a journal entries. And in that case, only you need to pass a journal entry without a narration. Otherwise, you should write a narration. Okay. And one more thing, while preparing a cash flow statement, if the method is mentioned, you will prepare on that particular method alone. If method is not at all mentioned, if they are given that net profit, you will prepare in indirect method. If the, in, if the net profit is not there, you will prepare in direct method. So these are small nuances which you need to take care to get score in this paper. This paper is still a scoring paper. You can score 60 plus is damn sure in this paper. 70 plus to 80 plus is up to percent. It depends from percent to percent. But that 60 plus is easier. Don't forget to check out that presentation part video and share to your friends. And tomorrow you can expect a uh, paper number 11 that is FMDA, that is Financial Management and Data Analytics Paper Analysis. And after that, and day after tomorrow, you may get it that Management Accounting as well. Thank you. Have a nice day.